So we're going to install our cables, how I showed you. On these trees here. Obvious why we're doing it. That, that, there, there. Some of it's not as bad as it looks, but some, some of it is pretty bad. So yeah, I'm probably going to run one from somewhere from there up to there and then run something from over there back to this one and we're trying to make them as straight as possible so when we drill our holes to put in the eye bolts they have to be pointing in the direction that it'll be pulling so I'll get that started and I'll show you guys how I do that. For this part of the video, I had to do a voiceover because the vibrations from the table transferred to the GoPro and messed up the audio. So here I'm just I'm just showing uh, how to cut the length of wire that's going to be used for your eye bolt and turnbuckle. So I just measure from uh, pinky to thumb, maybe a little inch extra just to give you a little extra uh, cable. And I just count that four times, and that's where I place my cut. Um, you don't want to get go too long, because if it's too long, then the the turnbuckle's too far away from the main trunk. And if you're climbing, it's it'll make it impossible for you to 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 adjust that buckle. So the closer it is to the trunk, the better for for adjusting purposes. And here I'm just showing how to make the bend. Um, I go again thumb to pinky length and then make my bend go all the way past and then come back and then straighten out that piece and it'll just press right up against the wire like that do but same thing for both sides and all this it makes it real easy uh so you don't have to be fighting the cable to put on your uh, wire clamps so the first thing i do if i'm doing multiple cables on a tree or multiple trees i just make a bunch of these um, I don't know what you this piece of cable and then from there I just start slipping on my uh, eye bolts and turnbuckles you want to make sure you open up the turnbuckles too when you're on the ground and it just makes it easier and as far as the the wire clamps you use three on each side and then when you put them on they have to go on a certain way the piece with the threads the u u bolt part if you want that's what you want to call it goes over the dead end of the wire which means it goes over the side that's carrying no load so you want to tighten make sure when you when you're tightening your u bolts you're tightening on the side that's to be loaded so that's how you know they're on correctly and from I've read on wire rope working and even on the cabling book for ISA there's a minimum of three that goes on each side meaning on each termination And this electric impact drill, or I don't know what you want to call it, but I call it an impact. Uh, really cheap, and it's real useful. Mine's set up just for cabling, and it just makes the job go by a lot faster. Before, I would use a wrench, and it would take forever. And then when you're in the tree, this just makes it a lot faster and easier. So when you tighten those down, I tighten them down as soon as you start seeing the the clamp putting a bend in the wire. That's when you know it's it's uh, tight enough. And again, all this information is just to help out anyone learning to install cables or or just trying to you know learn a little more. This system seems to work great for what we do. And I, 
I mean, I don't have any complaints. Um, there is easier systems out there, I guess, but this seems to work just fine for what we do. And if you ever need to remove the cable for whatever reason and reinstall it, uh, you can with this. In other systems, not really, depending on what, what system it is. But, I mean, this, you could easily remove it and then easily reinstall it into the tree. And I always like rechecking every piece of uh, hardware. So the way I start checking everything is I start at the eye bolt, make sure I got a nut, washer, then I get to a termination, make sure I got my three wire clamps and that, and that they're all tight. And then I get to my second termination, same thing there, make sure I got all my wire clamps and that they're tight. And then I get to the turnbuckle and make sure that the turnbuckles uh, pushed all the way out, meaning the threads are as far out as they go. I like to spray a little bit of WD-40 on the threads on the turnbuckle and on the eye bolt. Just makes it uh, a lot easier when you're in the tree. Sometimes the threads are messed up because of the manufacturing process. The threads aren't cleaned out all the way. And doing all this preparation before you get in the tree really pays off when you're in the tree. This way you don't have to worry about any of this when you're in the tree. You just climb, get to your spot, and install. To make Drill our hole, I mean. So we go, we want to secure that limb over there to this one. So, and we have, we want a straight shot as far as the angle of which angle meaning where the, how the eye bolt will sit so we want this straight that way aimed right about right in there so straight down there which that looks good right there check on the other side if it's a good ex place for exiting come a little bit further down we don't want to be too close to the union so that seems good right there pointed down there move my flip line and I think we should be good right there make sure we clean out the hole Another thing to watch for when you're drilling your hole is to see the material coming out if it looks like good wood, which in this case it did. It looked like healthy wood. So now we'll go down there and make our hole coming back. beaver harness I'm using the hip D-rings depending on your positioning or how you want to position yourself you could uh, clip into uh, the bridge right here I don't know if you could see that real nice saddle this one actually belongs to uh, August himself he let me borrow it um, while Mine was on back order, which I should receive anytime soon. Anyways, so we look for our hole, which is uh, right there. And it's, we're gonna, make our hole coming back somewhere around here. Good. I mean, well, 
watch my leg, I don't want to drill through it. Sometimes when you're doing cables, you can't, uh, you can't install them like how it says in the book, you know, by the book. I mean, you can't install them by the book because of the situation, because all trees are different and it's, it's difficult to, to apply the, what's on black and white to a, to a, to a tree. So it, you got to take it upon yourself to make the best decision which what it comes down to is I mean to reduce risk um, which is it's, it's a hard decision sometimes but uh, as long as the mitigation functioning I think that's good enough for me you know now I'm gonna go down and get my cables I don't have a ground guy I have to do everything by myself which whatever
crying. Hey. Finished this tree. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, we ran a cable from there to over there, and that's addressing this issue here. And at the same time, it's kind of helping out right there. And then on this one. Decided to cut way back because we had this issue here. 
don't know if you could hear that. And then we got decayed in there. <clears throat> People just vandalizing the tree. And that was for that there and this issue here. And for this issue, we ran a cable from there to right there. And that's addressing this. And then for this problem here, we ran that one. I don't know if you could see that. All the way up in there. And that's also kind of helping out here. So this one's finished.